Hi, this is Keith from PharmacyTechStudy.com and in this video I'd like to talk about temperature conversions between Celsius and Fahrenheit or between Fahrenheit and Celsius. And here on the screen, or excuse me, on the whiteboard, are the two formulas that are taught in school or in pharmacy tech school or pretty much wherever and also you can find it all over the internet if you look up uh, C to F or F to C conversion. And so what I'd like to show you in this video is a little shortcut that's going to make it easier to remember a formula to use and it's accurate and it's going to make your life easier just pretty much all around if this question comes up on your exam. And so uh, looking at these two formulas, uh, one is just the inverse of the other, and the other is just the inverse of the other. And so, um, on a, I could show you that on a graph, and uh, or or you know write it all out and show you how they're inverses of each other. But you'll just have to trust me on that. And uh, so, the shortcut is five f equals nine c plus. 160 and the reason why that works is it's based on this formula up here if you look at this formula uh, one of the first things that you would do if you're going to try to work out this formula would be to get rid of this fraction and the way to do that is to multiply it by its denominator which in this case is 5 but as you know with an equation if you do that with one term, you have to do it with all the terms on both sides. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to multiply this side and this side by 5. So when we do it on this side, we get 5f. And then on this side, when we multiply 5 by 9 fifths, we get 9. And then multiply that by c, we get 9c. And then over here, 5 times 32 is 160. So as you can see, the shortcut is basically just this formula here. And um, so let's put it to work and see how it works. So let's say we wanted to find out what 4 degrees Celsius was in Fahrenheit. So what we would do is replace 4 with the C. So we'll go ahead and do that first and then build the rest of the equation. All right, so what we've got here is 9 times 4 is 36 plus 160 still equals 5f. 36 plus 160 is 196. And then to isolate this f, we need to divide it by the 5 so that the 5's cancel but as you know it's an equation so we have to do that on both sides and that's going to give us our answer 196 divided by 5 equals 39.2 so 4 degrees Celsius is equal to 39.2 degrees Fahrenheit and it would work exactly just like this if you were to put a number in the F and then solve for C. And so this shortcut right here, I highly recommend using it and getting used to it and memorizing it.